Say it's good to start the day with a bit of sunlight in your face for a productive day. So, being uh, inspired by uh, by other creatives, we see that there's a summer sketching challenge on, and we have set up our little summer sketching shop. But we hope to explore some new areas. Not often we do sketching, so this will be fun. How did you enjoy the drawing challenge? It was quite fun, actually. It felt like a little bit daunting, didn't it? Yeah, and it was more that the prompts were a bit overwhelming. Yeah. It felt a lot very philosophical. So week one was you. Yeah, so you had to represent or write something about yourself. So Grace drew a lot of nature and boats and mountains with the sea, which is obviously for Grister because he's He's a cool crister. And then I did being among nature and entered loads of mountains and stuff which is obviously related to nature. So a little bit of puddles underneath the rain here. Yeah, it's cute. It's rainy. Uh, the theme for week two was why. So why are you currently doing what you're doing? What's your motivation? Yes, to explore adventure and try new things and drink more tea because tea is super important for anything. Well, I put love each day because that's why I do what I do. Because I want to love each day and uh, have fun doing it. And it's the things that motivate me and inspires me and create things. And now we're going to go for an adventure. Where are we going, Kai? Uh, where are we going? We're going to a coffee's. I think it's an office with a coffee's. We're back in Tunsberg. We, we like this town because it's really nice and has like nice parks and nice buildings and architecture. I'm not pulling funny expressions. <laughs> you totally are. I pull my snoot off. So. Hey! Hey! Oh, such a cheeky wife I got. This is how we fight. So, what are you working on today, Owen? Poop. <laughs> you always do this. I'm gonna work on some. UX design, I think. So you're going to put those wire flames and try to make them work then? I'm going to use wire flames, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when your wires are on fire, you might use wire frame, flames. flames. I'll be working on uh, building databases with Elasticsearch. We're going to be building some with it soon. I need to learn this technology. Yes. And uh, good to see a bit of head of the game continue my Elasticsearch quest. Tell me how cool, high Kursli factor is there on these streets. On a scale of 1 to Kursli, very Kursli. Enjoying your snack bar? Mm How's -hmm. your UI exploration going? Our previous little doggy. She decided to do some online shopping for some cool glasses, sunglasses, and some black sunglasses. So this is dog glasses? Yeah, it's dog glasses, you know. Right, it's yeah. a nice uh, shop you made there. Yeah. And it's meant to be poor friendly. Poor friendly. Okay. We're planning an adventure for summertime. Mm, where are we going? Are we going to Rufulton? You excited? Mm -hmm. Is the plan coming together? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be a long journey? It's going to be long. Yes. It's going to be super long. It's going to be like this long. Oh wow. From down here all the way up here with the loads of stars. Look at stars. Star heaven. This is going to be adventure destinations. I think this sounds like a good summer adventure. It is. It's going to be very nice up there. We're taking Mari's boat. Are you excited for adventure, Moritz? Not really, I'm kind of lazy, Papa. You're gonna be our little adventure dog? No. Please? No. Just sitting outside is where I really feel like it's possible to meditate. To just empty your mind and be in the moment. Our mind is our most important tool and that's why we should spend more time with it. 
I recently finished uh, reading uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And uh, that book, the, the title is so cheesy I could barely open it. But um, once I got into it, actually it's really good. It sounds like a simple concept on the surface and I'd read, read excerpts and didn't think much of about it. But once you start digging deeper and like get through into that book, it really is some inspiring concepts in there and how you should think about your economy and what you spend your time doing. But uh, one of the ending points of the book, which I think is a really good one, is the fact that if you want to receive anything, you first have to give. I just picked up uh, reading... Uh, what did I pick up reading? Do you remember the name of that book? I like the introduction, only done the first chapter. <laughs>